Good evening, everyone. The new teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I love teacher. And your classmate. I think so. But uh, I was stay in the workshop. So I don't know what uh, the teacher say. What the teacher did say? Uh, algo así. No sé qué dijo la profesora lo que yo andaba al baño. No sé. ¿Qué me puede decir? Hello, class. Hello, Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how Welcome are you? Teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Fine, fine. And you? Fine. I'm pretty good, thank you. It's it's, it's very it's good to it's, see it's good to be able to see everybody. And um well many of your faces. Um, okay, I think I see about half of the class. I still need to see like the other half of the class, <laughs> but um, it's good to see you. Um, I want to, I want to apologize that yesterday was um, impossible to uh, be able to connect. Um, there were, there, I had connection problems um, so it was not possible. So I want to um, I want to apologize for that. And um, thank you for being patient so that we start today. So today we're going to be starting our class. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, just basically uh, making the 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 class is a little bit longer. So instead of um, finishing on the Friday, we're gonna be uh, finishing on, on Monday, okay? So we'll, we'll be finishing, if I'm not mistaken, it will be August 21st. That's the day that we will be finishing, okay? So don't worry that we have not missed any classes, okay? All right, so, um, well, first of all, thank you for um, being being present, okay? Thank you for, for connecting. Um, solamente les eh, voy a acordar um, que solo puedo ver la cara de algunos de ustedes. Las otros tienen su camarita apagada. Entonces... Good evening. Good Hi. evening, welcome. Okay, entonces, um, si pueden encenderla, sería excelente, si podemos conocernos. Okay, so um, let me introduce myself. Hello. Okay, so let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jessica Guerrero. And I will be with you, I'll be your teacher uh, for this module. Um, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, I have my name, well, I have been living, a, well, better said, I have been teaching um, for, um, I think about 18 years I've been teaching. I've been teaching English and um, let's see what else I can also tell you about myself. I've been a, well, I, some of the things that I love, I love the color purple um, and my favorite drink is Coca-Cola. Um, I love dancing, it's my passion. A, I love doing exercise. Uh, I really, really enjoy traveling. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit about who I am. Do you have any questions? Oh, by the moment, no. 
Nothing? Are you sure? Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. So are you sure you don't have any questions? <clears throat> no? What is your country? What is my country? Um, well, I am originally from Canada. Yes. It's a good. It's a good country. It is. It's a yeah. It's a very. It's a very nice country. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I exciting for to learn with you. Well, I'm I'm excited to uh, teach you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Any other questions that you have for me? Don't be afraid. Ask anything you want. I have a question. Okay. Are yes. Are you married? Um. No, I'm not. I'm single. Mm -hmm. Do you have more questions that you want to ask me? In this moment, where are you live? Uh, in this moment, where? Yes. So, sorry, I didn't understand your question. Can you repeat? In this moment, where are you live? Oh, in this moment, where do I live? That's a good question. Um. I live very far away right now in this moment. I'm on the other side of the world. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? I I think Europe? It where? Europe? Um um Italy? No. But um <laughs> But Spain? I am I am in Europe. Yes, I am in Europe. I'm actually. I'll tell you something. Uh, I'll, I'll make it easy for you. I'm the last part of Europe. Mm. I'm in the very very last part of Europe. Literally, la colita estoy. <laughs> oh. Uh... Idiots. Um, Spain? Oh. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Russia? Russia? No, I'm not in Russia, but uh, I'm very close to Russia. It's... Uh, in Kyrgyzstan, in Kyrgyzstan or Bangkokostan? Sorry. Yes. Uh, in Kyrgyzstan or <laughs> Markongostan, <laughs> next, to, no. next to China. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no, China is actually Asia. Yes, yeah, so no, that, that's that's different. <laughs> no, no ideas. Well, I'll tell you something. If I take if I take a fair I, I think I think Grecia? Yeah? Greece. 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 Mm, Greece. Nope, not Greece either. Uh, but, I'm very, but very, very close. France. Very close. You are very hot. Have you ever played that game? Uh, hot and cold? Yeah. Hmm? Sorry, Ada, could you repeat? Venezia. Oh, Venice. Venice. Uh, no. In Malta? Sorry? Malta, Peter? Malta? Malta? Nope. You were closer with Greece, I think. <laughs> yes. You were closer Germany? with Greece. Nope. Germany? No. Nope. Further, oh. further east. Further east. Uh, east, east, south, southern, east. Um, <laughs> the other, the Spain or the other Greece? 
What what do you mean? Oh, so I'm very, very close to Greece. I, I I'm border with Greece. Mm. Border. It's a borderline. You oh, have to be, I, I think so. Is is Athenas? Athenas? Oh, Athens. Athens? Athens? Yeah, Athens is in Greece. Oh. No? no. Colombia is in, 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 in South America. That's the other <laughs> way. <laughs> it's very far away. Oh yes, teacher. I don't I don't so I don't know. No <laughs> I don't know. Yet. <laughs> no yet. Serbian? Teacher. Uh, the, country, yes. the country next to Greece is um Bulgaria. Bulgaria, Bulgaria. I'm uh, I'm very close to Bulgaria, yes, very close to Bulgaria. Or Albania. No, you're oh. you're going in the opposite direction. Yes. More what more east. More east. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, you're you're very, very close. You're very, very close. <laughs> My my brain, I... <laughs> you have to look at a map. <laughs> I I think so. It's very far away because yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> but it's really so you, you, you were very very close to when when you said Greece, Bulgaria. Those are the borderline countries. Oh, Turkey? Huh? Turkey? In English? Uh, I think it's. Turkey. Yeah, I'm in Turkey. That's right. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really. Oh, fish. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other side of the world. And I understand the weather. You're connecting Wi Fi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Problems with, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not easy sometimes. But yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Do you uh, have Miss, yeah. what, what time it is? What time it is? It, right now it's five in the morning. Five. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for your, your time, teacher. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No problem. Well, what I want to do right now, if you don't mind, let's take attendance, okay? Let's take attendance and um, then we can start with our um, in our, our scheduled class, okay? So I'm gonna take right now attendance. Um, so do I have Ada Veronica Muñoz? Yes, Miss. Perfect. Thank you. Alexander Jamilet Garcia. Alexandra, uh, present. Okay, good. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very Alicia much. Perez Gavidia. Present, teacher. Present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Ana Maricela Flores. Present. Beautiful. Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Thank you. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Miss. Great. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening here. here. Good evening here. Good yeah. morning. True. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Uh, Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. Present, Miss. Perfect. Thank you. Juan Antonio Bran de Paz. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Catherine and Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Catherine Giselle Bonilla Olivar. 
Olivar, perdón. Thank you. Catherine Marielos Melendez Villegas. Present, Miss. Wonderful, thank you. <clears throat> Lenin Hernández Flores. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, Miss. Thank Perfect. You. Excellent. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Hello, Miss. Present. Hello, thank you. En el sur Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Norma Lizette Crespin Orellana. Eh, Norma, ¿no le funciona el micrófono? ¿Se tenía problemas con el micrófono, Norma? Mm, ok. Bye. Lo que puede hacer Norma con el micrófono, puede ver, intentar si son los, por ejemplo, si está utilizando auriculares, intente ver si tal vez es eso, ¿verdad? Tal vez um, cambie los auriculares o también podría intentar salirse del, de la aplicación y volver a entrar. A veces eso, eso ayuda o reiniciar también la, el dispositivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que pueda utilizar el micrófono mejor. Ok, um, Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Oscar Alexander Domingos Her Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Reina Isabel Martínez. Reina Isabel Martínez. Not here, Reina Isabel. Ok. Um, Zaira Idalia Oviedo Arevalo. Zaira Idalia Oviedo Arevalo. And Silvia Este Rivas Calderón. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. Casa tenemos casa llena. Okay, very good. All right, class. So, um, eh, solo voy a decir eso en español rapidito porque quiero que se entienda un 100%. Asegúrense de que tengamos los nombres eh, completos en la plataforma. Si no me equivoco, creo que todos lo tienen. Sí, creo que sí. Pero siempre asegúrense cuando ustedes entran a, a la plataforma, asegúrense que lo tengan puesto porque um, es la única forma que podemos nosotros eh, constar que en realidad estuvieron, eh, o más dicho, constar cuántos minutos estuvieron en la clase. Sí podemos saber que estuvieron en la clase porque está en la constancia del, de, de la, del video y la asistencia que tomo, pero cuántos minutos eh, de, de la clase ustedes tuvieron solamente lo puede registrar cuando usted tiene su nombre completo en la plataforma ok entonces eh, asegúrense por favor de, de tener eso completo y um, también um, sí la, la, la eh, su, su camarita también ok All right, class. so we're going to start um, Solo voy a te, le voy a pedir un poquito de paciencia. No sé por qué el um, Zoom no me enseña todos los botones de. Entonces, pero creo que sí voy a poder hacer esto. Ok. Um, can you please tell me if you can see my screen? Yes, teacher, I see you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right, so here we're going to be starting um, to talk about, this is called, it's a very exciting place. And we have uh, lots of uh, vocabulary here related to, um, oops, okay, okay, related to um, cities, okay? So 
Um, we have beautiful. Can you repeat after me? Beautiful. Beautiful. Repeat. Everybody. Beautiful. Everybody, beautiful. 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 Cheap. Deep. Cheap. 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 Clean. 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 Interesting. 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 So this word here, you do not pronounce it interesting. Interesting, no, it's interesting. 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 Good. So, 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 it, this is three syllables. It's interesting. Three syllables. So, yeah, so there are some words, sorry, some letters that are silent. Uh, so the E is silent. No reposa en ella la, el acento. Yeah, so in tres teen. So the E is, is silent. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Quiet. 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 So well, this is not this is not quiet. Quiet. quiet? No, it's quiet. 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 Yes. Relaxing. 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 Safe. 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 Spacious. 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 Then we have boring. 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 Crowded. 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 Dangerous. 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 Expensive. 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 Noisy. 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 Polluted. 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 Stressful. 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 And ugly. 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 Mm -hmm. Ugly. Okay. Good. So this is not ugly. Ugly, no. It's ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ugly. Uh, mm -hmm. Ugly. Les, les voy a dar una clave. El 65, 70% de las veces cuando tenemos la letra U en inglés se pronuncia a, uh, no U, a. Uh. So in this case, ugly. Uh, ugly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. What is the pol pol pronunciation? Pronunciation. 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 Sorry, ¿está preguntando por la pronunciación? No, I... Uh, what is the meaning of this word? Oh, okay, okay, good, okay. So you're asking about the meaning. Okay, so when you're asking about the meaning, you're going to say, what meaning. does, and then you say the word mean. So okay. I'll, I'll write in the chat. Um, what does mean like this? Oh, sorry. Perdón, se lo mandé directo. Let me let me send it again to everybody. There you go. Okay, so this is how you're gonna say what does, and then you say the word mean. So, what is your question, Juan Antonio? 
Okay, what does uh, polluted mean? Mm, polluted, polluted. Polluted. Polluted means that it's that there's contamination. Okay. That is contaminated. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Any other words that you don't understand? <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat? She say, what the cow yeah. What does? What does crowded mean? Oh, crowded. Um. Okay, yeah, I, I, I see which one it is. Okay, so crowded means that it's, um, there's a lot of people or a lot of things, lots of things in the same area, crowded, yeah? Like when you go to the stadium, you know? When you go to the stadium to see, you see a soccer game, it's very crowded. Yeah. Or when you go to downtown San Salvador, it's very crowded. Okay, lots of people. Is the same thing to say uh, sobrepoblado? I'm sorry? How do you say sobrepoblado? Is um, the same? Oh, not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. Sobrepoblado, it means that lots of people live there. Uh, and but in, for, this okay. is the estado, teacher? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just imagine um, six o'clock in the afternoon, and you're taking a coaster. <laughs> okay, that's crowded. It's okay. very crowded. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Especially if you're taking something like, I don't know, like 44 <laughs> or stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, lots of people, but that, but that just means in that particular place, not that it's overpopulated necessarily. Okay. Any other words that you don't understand? So we talked about polluted, right? Polluted means that it's contaminated, crowded, that there's lots of lots of things or lots of people in one area. Also, crowded can also be not necessarily about people, but about things. So if if you put, for example, a lot of things in one room, it can be very crowded. Okay. Anything else? Any other words? Okay, so what I want you to do right now, I want you to match the opposites, okay? I want you to match opposite words. For example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example. Beautiful, what's the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Uh, ugly, uh, exactly. Uh, ugly. So I want you to match. Write them in your notebook. Write in your notebook. Okay, are we finished?
Not yet. Okay, are we ready to check or not yet? Listos, chicos? Can we check? Yes, we're ready? Yes. Okay, let's check. Cheap, opposite of cheap? Expensive. 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 Good. Opposite of clean. Polluter. Polluted. Polluted. Very good. Polluted. Yes. Opposite of interesting. Boring. 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 Good. Opposite of quiet. Nice. Nice. Noisy. Very good. Noisy. Opposite of relaxing. Sorry. Stressful. 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 Good. Opposite of safe. Dangerous. Dangerous. Excellent. Opposite of spacious. Huh? Ugly. Okay. Opposite of spacious. Crowded. 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 So, lo opuesto de espacioso es es uh, atestado. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, can you give me two? Can you give me two more adjectives? Any adjective? Can you give me two more adjectives? Soft. Sorry? Soft. Soft? Yes. Like this? Uh, I think it's um, suave. Uh -huh. Soft like this? Uh, Comodo. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Thank you. And one more? Um, fast. Fast. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, okay, good, 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 good. Now, if we... Okay, so these are good adjectives. Now, soft, what does it mean, soft? Pessimistic, um, optimistic. No. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. What does it mean, soft? What is the meaning of soft? Suave. Suave, good. And fast? Rapido. Rapido, Rapido. very good. Okay, excellent. Very good adjectives. Can you now give me adjectives that describe a city? Because soft and fast, it's, I don't know if we can use it to describe a city. Can you give me adjectives to describe a city? Anything else? Okay. We can... hmm? um, can you describe a um, modern and ancient? Ancient, okay. Ancient, yes, very good. So everybody understand ancient? The opposite no. is for... For example, modern. Oh, okay. We'll talk about opposites in a moment. But just, I just want to know: Do you understand ancient? Oh, es como antiguo. Yeah. So ancient is like old, old. Okay. Good. Another one. Another other than ancient. Urbanized. Sorry. Urbanized? Urbanized. 
urbanizado. Distant okay. Distant or near okay. near uh, but to describe a city uh, por ejemplo lejano o cercano de algo uh -huh, distant but, but to, to describe a city oh a word that describes a city if you want to describe a city, how would you describe the city? Okay, sorry. Huh? Fast. Fast. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, run down. And I say this is run down. Okay. Okay. Run down. Do you know what is run down? I think it's uh, too fast. <laughs> If you want, you can, you can uh, write in the chat. Si, si está teniendo problemas ahí con el micrófono o la conexión, pueden escribir en el chat. Ana Maricela, su micrófono está fallando. Puede escribir en el chat, no hay problema. So, what Creo is run down? Creo que mis audífonos, pero no puedo ponerlo en altavoz. Ah, ok. Uh, uh, it's something like, bueno, Siri... Is uh, uh, I don't know what I say. Uh, una ciudad que no está como uh, como actualizada o, o, o desarrollada. Kind of. Algo así. No yeah. Sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Yeah. So um, exactly. So yeah, you have the idea, Ana Maricela. So rundown means something that has not been taken care of. It's very old but um old in the sense that it needs to it, it, it needs to be taken care of it, it um it, it needs to be repaired okay there needs to be repairment there needs to be um a, so it's 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 old in but not just old it, it means that um you need you need to work on it. You need to make it more modern. Okay, that's run down. Okay. Ya está como atrofiada, ansia. Podría decirte o como desgastada la calle. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's the idea. Good. Now let's talk about the opposite of ancient. What would be the opposite of ancient? Modern. Very I good. Think. Yeah. Ancient would be modern. Um good. And rundown? What would be the opposite of rundown? The opposite of rundown. Any ideas? Modern, modern house. Sorry, um, can you repeat that? Modern, modern house. Modern? Modern. Mm, okay. Um, Go so, see? Sorry? Cozy. Cozy. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if cozy would be the one. Um, niece? No, niece is uh, sobrina. Eh, 
I would say like maintained, okay? Um, so run down means um, that, that you, that it's old and no one takes care of it. Maintained is the opposite. It means that people are constantly looking um, to make it better. Podría um, también teacher flourishing? Restore. Yeah, it could be flour flourishing. Sure. Flourishing would work. Yeah. Sorry, could you repeat that? Restart? No. Restart uh, for an adjective? Probably not. Um, um, yeah, no, probably, yeah, I would say ma ma maintained or flourishing. So that it means that you're, you're keeping it nice. Okay, that's what it means. You're keeping it nice. Okay, very good. Do you have any questions at this moment? Any questions? No, teacher. No? It's all clear? Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the next part. In that case, um, I want you to look at this conversation. Okay, and we're going to practice this conversation between Eric and Carmen. So we have, so where are you from, Carmen? Can you repeat? Where are you where from, are you Carmen? So where are you from, Carmen? So where are you so, from? Where are you so from, where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm, I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Good, yeah. So in English, we pronounce this Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. So it's not Puerto Rico. It's Puerto, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Rico. Yeah. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Wow, wow. 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 I a real nice city. That's a really nice city. Really nice city. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. <laughs> The weather is great. Great. The weather is the great. Weather is great. The weather is great. And there are fantastic beaches. And there, and there are, are some, some fantastic, fantastic beaches. beaches. Just outside the city. Just outside the city. The city. Is it expensive there? Is it expensive? Is it expensive though? Is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Okay. Eh, quizás vamos a tener que um, apagar ahí algunos micrófonos. Okay, good. No, it's not very expensive. No, it's, it's not, not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? How big is the city? How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. But it's not too big. But it's not too big. Too big. It sounds perfect to me. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip. Maybe I should plan a trip. There's some time. 
There's some time. Some time. Good. Okay. Excellent. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Mm -hmm. Questions mm -hmm. about the vocabulary? Fairy. Yes. What does fair leave me? Oh, fairly big. It fairly. fairly big means pretty big. Fairly big, pretty big. Okay. Fairly means like pretty. Okay. Any other, any other words so you don't understand? Uh, fairly is como sinónimo de pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this context, in this context, not in all contexts, but in this context, yes. Any other questions? Yes, uh, the pronunciation of reasonable. 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 Uh, okay, reasonable. Yes, reasonable. Any other any other questions? In the past, it's a fairly big city. Can you say that it's a city that's quite big? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's like saying it's a pretty big city. It's bastante grande. Mm -hmm. Any other words? No? Okay, let's continue then. Um, okay. Um, yeah. All right, so... Um, just a second. All right. So... We now have to, okay, now that we know about um, adjectives, um, let's talk a little bit about the position of the adjectives, okay? So it's very important that you understand the where you're going to put the adjectives, sorry. Okay, so it's very, very important that you understand where you're gonna put the adjectives. So adjectives always go before, sorry, the adverbs, go the, right before the adjectives, okay? So um, do you understand what it is an adverb? Adverbios? Yeah. So adverbs are words that give us information about a verb or give us some information about an ad another adverb. So in this case, we're mostly going to be giving information about an adjective, okay? Um, so for example, here, the adjective is nice. Here, what is the adjective here? It's fairly big. Big, the adjective is big. Big, the adjective is big, good. Over here, it's not very expensive? Yes, expensive. expensive. Expensive, good. Over here, what is the adjective? It's a really nice city? Nice city. Nice. 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 Uh -huh. It's a fairly big city? Big. 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 It's not a very expensive place. Expensive. Expensive, expensive. good. It's too noisy. Yes. No. Noisy. 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 Good. Noisy. And it's too crowded for me. Crowded. 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 Good. Okay. Crowded. Do you understand the that uh, those adjectives? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody understands them. Really. Nope. Hmm. Sorry. No, no. 
Perdón, no le escuché muy bien. Dijo sobre los adverbios. No, the adjectives. Do you understand the meaning of the adjectives? Not nice, big, expensive, noisy, crowded. We understand all that? Yes. Uh huh. I yeah. I so. The noise and the crowd is main noise. Noisy. noisy. You said noisy? <laughs> noisy means it has a lot of noise. So it's the opposite of quiet. Quiet. Then we have noise. Lots of noise. Yeah? Okay. Ridoso. Yes. Ridoso. Exactly. Okay. okay. Um, is that pretty clear? Everybody understands these adjectives? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So yeah. now we're going to say, we're going to explain or describe the adjectives, okay? So the adjectives we have, really, fairly, very, But really, fairly, and very. These, um, let's say that these adverbs, first of all, if you notice, we always put the adverbs before the adjectives. So here's nice, big, expensive, and they all go before, they go before the adverb, or is it the adjective? So what, How, what does the what do these words mean? I'm oh, sorry. What it means it's something like this, so that you understand it. We can say that very is like over here at the top. Okay. So in the scale, we can say very, it's very, very, it's high, okay? Then we have the word really, okay, really. And then we have the word fairly, okay? So very is like the highest, really is like, you know, It's 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 pretty high, but it's not extremely high. And then fairly, it's like more or less. Okay? In the middle. No? It really yeah. is like in the middle. Yeah. Okay? Now, um, hold on. Just give me a moment. Give me one moment. Yeah. All right. Now, so so very, like I said, this um, very is a pretty high, but not the highest. You know what the highest word is? The highest is the word extremely, extremely. and But extremely is a, what we call like a superlative, okay? So it's like the highest, extremely. There's nothing more. Okay? Enormous? That's no? Hmm? Enormous? No, no, because no, extremely no. Enormous is an adjective. Um, um so we could say we could say extremely enormous, right? But extremely just means it's like at the top, okay? So there's nothing more, okay? Then we have really, and over here actually, between really and fairly we can say the word pretty, okay? Pretty. Okay, so what it means pretty, it, it, it's, 
remember, depending on what kind of like some words have more than one meaning, right? They have sometimes, uh, yeah, more than one meaning. So in this case, pretty does not mean bonita, right? Or bonito, no. In this case, pretty means like, it's almost like saying bastante. Like, uh, like, like for example, um, how, how do you feel? Oh, I feel pretty good. Me siento bastante bien. I feel pretty good. Okay, so yeah. All right, do we understand that? Yes, this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we could say super beautiful. Um, just be careful with the spelling, beautiful. Beautiful would be like this, okay? Yeah, and yeah, in that case, it'd be handsome, handsome, okay, handsome. Handsome. Handsome, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. I wrote in the chat, handsome. handsome. Mm -hmm. Okay, Um. yeah, so it depends. Now, we also have the word oh. to, okay? When I mean the word to is actually, um, it, we can't, it's not exactly, we can't really put it in this scale. To is a something kind of a little bit different. What it means, the word to, it means more than necessary. That's what it means. To means more than necessary. So when you say it's too noisy, it means it's more than I want the noise to be. Okay, so I expect to there to be noise, but this is more than I can handle. Okay, or it's too crowded for me. For example, I'll, I'll give you an example. Regresando ahí a, 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 a lo que decíamos de, de los de las coster. ¿Han notado que hay gente que uh, puede estar esperando ahí en, en la parada quizás como unos 20, 30 minutos y no se y no se sube el coster a la coster cuando viene? Why? Because they say no, no, it's too crowded. It means it's too many people. I don't want to go. So even though there is a coaster that is coming, even though they can go on the coaster, they can get on, but they say, mm -mm, it's more than is necessary for me. Okay, so that's too crowded. How do you say two in Spanish? También. Huh? También. También o también podría ser demasiado. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, it means en este caso more than necessary. Es como demasiado. Exactly. Yeah. So this means more than necessary. It means demasiado. Okay. So, sí, o sea, significa que usted espera que sí el adjetivo exista, ¿verdad? O sea, sí va a venir lleno la cosa, pero demasiado means more than you want it's it, it's you expect like if it's six o'clock yes you expect it to be full of people but if it's too crowded it means it's more than you can handle more than necessary more than it than you than you than you can than you expect okay do we understand? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I think yeah. so is for the answers, no? Answers? Yes. No. Answers. What, what do you mean answers? Uh, como lo del ejemplo de la cosa que nos estaba comentando. Uh -huh. Alguien le preguntó que por qué no se sabía. It could, but not necessarily. Maybe, yes, but it's not always like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right. Oh, 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 I forgot there was uno, había uno más. Sorry, guys, I forgot. Um, mm -hmm. Se me escapó este. Um, yeah, exactly. Somewhat. Somewhat is like less than fairly. Es lo que voy a tener que mover esto porque ya no me cabe. Somewhat. Somewhat is like saying, mm, some, somewhat. It's like saying algo. Right? So, uh, está, está algo caro. No, es como uh, algo caro. Pero no es nada que no pueda pagar. Right? Okay? So, it's somewhat expensive. Okay? Okay. All right. Any questions? Questions about this? Okay, so we're going to be practicing this tomorrow, okay? Because today we've ran up out of time, so we have no more time. So we will be practicing this tomorrow. But right now I need to be able to um, take attendance still, just to make sure that I have everybody. So we're gonna do this quickly. Ada Veronica Muñoz. Eh, okay, pueden abrir sus micrófonos para que pueda escucharlos y ver. Gracias. Thank you. Alexandra Jamilet García. I'm here. Wonderful. Alicia Pérez Cavivia. Present teacher. Great. Ana Maricela Flores. Great, thank you. Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Great. Um, Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present, teacher. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Eugenio. Present, miss. Good, thank you. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, miss. Great. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. Present, Miss. Juan Antonio Brand. Present, teacher. Catherine Andreina Perez. Present, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Catherine Giselle Bonilla. Present, teacher. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present, Miss. Le Lenin Hernández Flores. Present, Miss. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present, Miss. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. I'm here, Miss. Eh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. I hear me. Nelson? I hear me. Okay, perfect. Eh, Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Norma Lisette Crespin. Okay. Uh, Oliv Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. I'm here. Oscar Alexander Domingos. I'm here. Reina Isabel Martinez. Reina Isabel Martinez Navas. Zaira Idalia Oviedo Arevalo. Zaira Idalia Oviedo Arevalo. Y Silvia Esther Rivera. I'm here. Okay, perfecto. Okay, chicos. Well, that will be all for today. It's a pleasure to have had you, and I will be seeing you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, see you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. See, you. see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you, you too.